Today, we're gonna to be making some really cool logo motion graphics in Fusion. Some other beautiful Resolve educators and I have been collaborating on a promo video for a nonprofit called Heart Support. We're also doing a little fundraiser for them. There's a little donate button over there. This is an organization that is near and dear to my heart. I've been involved with them for a really long time. And what they do is they help people with mental health and start conversations about mental health based on music. And so they'll go out to concerts and talk with people about mental health. They'll interview bands. They have a fantastic YouTube channel with a licensed therapist named Taylor who analyzes song lyrics and talks about mental health. They have a forum where anyone can go and talk about whatever's going on in their life. They don't have to give their real name. And it's just a place to be honest and actually get support with people who care and will listen. It's such a great resource. They've helped so many people. I've got to see this firsthand. I've went to a lot of concerts with them. We've talked to people about everything under the sun from depression, anxiety, self-harm, addictions, suicidal thoughts, eating disorders, basically anything that affects a person, the real life stuff. That's what's okay to talk about there. And they're really just doing everything that they can to help people who are struggling with mental health and just finding that common ground through music. This is a huge thing for me. I've had a lot of trouble with anxiety over the years, had a lot of friends with anxiety and depression and uh, self-harm and eating disorders and addictions and pretty much everything. There are people in the world that don't understand how amazing they are and they feel like nobody will listen to them. And Heart Support is an organization that will listen and encourage and help. It's beautiful. I wish I had that in high school, man. So we want to do everything we can to help these guys out. So I've been collaborating on a little promo video. You can actually download the footage with the link down below in the description and download this footage and play around and make your own edit and do your own color grade and your own graphics and all of that stuff. And they were nice enough to provide this footage for us to play around with. And throughout this week, there have been other creators who have been working on this video and the video is almost done. We just need some graphics for the end. Let's take a look at what we have so far. When we found music, it changed our lives. We felt connected to ourselves, to each other, to something bigger. Music is our home. These are our people. But beyond these walls, it's easy to feel alone. And that takes a toll on our mental health. Suicide, addiction, self-harm. I don't think it should be that way. That's why Heart Support exists. We bring people together through the power of music to have genuine relationships that are authentic and vulnerable for the times that you need somebody to reach out to. And this community has people who are trained to support you and encourage you so you can grow and heal. Confronting your struggles and fighting for your mental health doesn't just change you. It brings change to everyone around you. It's okay to be broken. You're allowed to be human, but you are not alone because we have each other. Welcome to Heart Support. All right, so this video is looking pretty good. Huge thanks to everyone who's worked on this. Alex, Patrick, Frenchie, and Jason. So we just need one more little thing here. This end part with this bouncing crowd, I just added this in. And what we're gonna do is make this into a graphic, a logo reveal for heart support. So to do that, I'm just going to be over it here in the timeline and then go down to the Fusion page. Just open this in Fusion. And that'll bring this up here. And just for this one, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my color management. Also going to make sure it's bypassed here in the edit page, bypass color management, just like that. That's just because I'm not too worried about compositing this perfectly and working with log footage and everything. This is going to be kind of more graphic. So I'm not that, I'm just not going to worry about it. Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to take the heart support logo and we're going to start by looking through it and then it's going to kind of come down and we're going to see all these people inside of the letters in the logo. So first thing we need is the logo. I'm just going to grab our logo graphic. This is included in the work files. If you download these, I've just imported them into a folder here and this is media N two. Let's hit F two and rename this logo. And then this will be our crowd underscore MI for media in. Okay. And we're just going to merge this over here real quick. And for this logo, let's see, I'm going to go up to workspace and just turn off show page navigation. So we have a little more room. And for this logo, let's scale this down. I'll hit shift space bar and grab a tool. Let's say XF or transform. That'll add a transform node. And then we'll just take this size down and kind of place this to where it's going to end up. So I think something like that within the image looks good. 
And let's just see when this comes in here. You are not alone because we have each other. Welcome to heart support. Okay, right about 70 or 75, that's where we really wanna be able to see heart support. So we're gonna end up with that right there. So I'm just gonna take this transform and I'm going to click on the keyframe diamond for center as well as size. That means it's going to be right there in the middle and that size at 70 frames. And then before that, we're gonna have this zoom up. And so let's take this size up a lot. Let's do like 10 maybe more than that, maybe like 30. Yeah. And we're going to have that cover the entire screen with that T. So now look what happens. This kind of goes down like that. Awesome. Okay. You are not alone because we have each other. Welcome to Heart Support. All right. So there we go. Now, as we zoom this out, this is just a PNG. And because we're zooming it in so much, it's going to be blurry, but it's kind of okay because it's closer to us and the whole depth of field thing, it kind of just works out. And so I'm not even going to worry about scaling that up too much because it's just going to make it blurry and that's actually fine for what we're doing. So we're starting with that. It's going to go down like that. Let's adjust the movement of it. So I'm going to go to the spline panel here, just open up spline and let's check size and displacement and click on this zoom to fit button. And these final keyframes here, I'm going to select these and hit F on the keyboard to flatten out those tangents. And so now you are we have not this. Alone because we have each other. Welcome to Heart Support. Yeah, that looks nice. So what I actually want is for this footage of these people to be shown through the letters. So what we'll do is actually start with a background here. Let's take a background, just a black background. Let's plug that into our media out. I hide my navigation again. And I'll get rid of this merge and let's put the crowd over the background and let's mask the crowd with this transformed logo. And there we go. So now we have pretty much what we were hoping to. That looks good. That looks, that already looks pretty cool. That already looks cool. Okay. That's cool. Um, why don't we also make this black and white? So here for our crowd, let's go ahead and just put a brightness and contrast on that before we merge it. Now clip the black and white, take the saturation down and the contrast up a little bit, something like that, maybe the gamma down a touch. So now we have this pretty extreme looking thing. We're also gonna make sure we pre-divide post multiply here. In case we wanna put something behind it, we don't want this to adjust those colors. And that looks pretty good. The one thing I'll do is as this comes up, we're gonna kind of make it a little bit brighter so it's easier to see. We don't have these kind of black parts here. We're just gonna kind of blow that out. So let's take the brightness and here at frame 70, I'm gonna click a keyframe and then we're just gonna have that kind of swell up to about frame 90. So I'm push up the brightness a lot like that. And I think that it's gonna work just fine, yeah. That works pretty well. Yeah, cool. Okay, one thing I'll do after this is add a glow. So I just shift space bar and I'm gonna grab glow. It has the GLO on it and hit add. And we're not going to start this glowing until about the time this starts to get bright. So we're gonna keyframe this glow and bring that down. Then right about here, we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the glow size, something like that. Cool. So now we have just a little bit of glow happening. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll take the glow down a little bit. So it kind of swells and then it comes down. All right. Let's go open to the spline and grab all of these and hit F on the keyboard to flatten out these things. I'll actually move this one over a little bit. Hit F again. You can grab this handle and hold down Alt to kind of drag this out flat. Hold down Alt and grab this, drag this flat. So now that's just a real nice smooth, where it makes that glow bigger. Yeah, that's cool. It feels like it's kind of, it's almost like it's welding it in place, you know, kind of, oh, that looks sweet. Love that. Okay, 
heart support. There we go. Now, this is great, but it's just kind of black and white. And so I want to add just a little bit of character to this. I'm going to go to my graphics, and there's this background texture.png. I'm going to grab this and bring this down, merge this over our background, just our black background here. And this is our texture. Am I? So now we have this, this background here, and I think I'll just grab like a ellipse and mask this with an ellipse and make it really soft like that. You can just get away with a lot with just a big soft ellipse like that. And just add in a little bit of streak here. Actually, let's maybe just do something like this. Yeah. Cool. Maybe I'll add another one. I'll just copy and paste this ellipse like this. Move this over. Yeah. Just so we break up that background a little bit and it doesn't look just pure black. So now, as we do this, we have that background. Yeah, cool. Okay, I think I might take this down just a touch, take this blend down to where when it's really glowing, you see it. But other than that, it's really subtle. This also adds just a little bit of color too, because this background isn't totally black and white, it's kind of bluish. In fact, we could even make this a little bit more blue. Let's actually grab our color corrector here. I'll just kind of push this towards a little bit more blue. Change our hue around a little bit. Saturate it a little more. There we go. Yeah, we'll have just a little bit of blue in the background. That just makes it look a little bit more rich than just the pure black and white. Yeah, there we have that. That looks sweet. That looks sweet. So this is pretty easy just to kind of review. We have our logo and then we're transforming that. That's just scaling that like this. Then we're using that as a mask for our crowd and we're color correcting that just black and white. And we're putting this all over a black background with a texture over it that we've color corrected and we've added a little mask to. So just to make these kind of little streaks for our background, really simple, easy background, put this black and white over it. And we're just animating that brightness and contrast to get a little bit brighter here and kind of blow out those details so that we can see and read this a little better. Then we add a little bit of glow just to kind of bring it all together. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Let's add one more little trick just to give it some uh, texture here. I'm going to hit shift space bar and just type grain. And any of these would probably work. The film grain OFX is quite good, uh, but if you don't have the studio version of Resolve, you can just use film grain. So let's just do that. And that just adds some grain here. And let's take the strength down a little bit just so we barely see this. And now we have this dancing grain that just looks so much nicer. Oh, so good. Just adds a little bit to it. I really like that. It's pretty easy just to throw that grain on there. Yeah, we have a little bit of that kind of grainy look. And let's take a listen to this. You are not alone because we have each other. Welcome to Heart Support. Yeah, feels good. Not alone feels good, feels good. Okay, so we're gonna switch back to our edit. And now we have our finished video. So this has been a super fun project and huge thanks to everyone who's helped Mr. Alex Tech putting together the edit and Patrick designing the lower third and Frenchie for color grading and Jason for doing the audio mix for this project. It's so much fun to collaborate and uh, this, is, this is what we made. When we found music, it changed our lives. We felt connected to ourselves, to each other, to something bigger. Music is our home. These are our people. But beyond these walls, it's easy to feel alone, and that takes a toll on our mental health. Suicide, addiction, self-harm, I don't think it should be that way. That's why Heart Support exists. We bring people together through the power of music to have genuine relationships that are authentic and vulnerable for the times that you need somebody to reach out to. And this community has people who are trained to support you and encourage you so you can grow and heal Confronting your struggles and fighting for your mental health doesn't just change you. It brings change to everyone around you. It's okay to be broken. You're allowed to be human. 
but you are not alone because we have each other. Welcome to Heart Support. So, hey, do me a favor. And if you've enjoyed any of these videos this week, please consider giving back by donating using the button right there. This donation campaign is just for the viewers here on YouTube. And so there isn't anybody else that's going to come and donate. It's up to you guys. Every little bit helps heart support reach more people and encourage them and help them to deal with life in a healthy way. So, yeah, go ahead and click that button right there and donate. Donate $25. That would be awesome. And of course, you can find out more about heart support at heartsupport.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful. I'll catch you next time.